Hello, and welcome to this video on how to set up your snake. This video will help guide you if you get stuck at any point during the in-app, step-by-step installation process. Before you start setting up your snake, make sure that you have the Plug and Plink app installed and that you have made an account. To start the setup process, press the Snake Setup button on the home screen. Step 1. Wiring up. How you wire up your snake depends on what type of keyboard you have. You will have one of two types. Most commonly, your keyboard will make its own sound, either through its own speakers or through an audio output jack. You may instead have a controller keyboard that doesn't make its own sound and has to be plugged into a computer to make sound. Select which type of keyboard you have to continue. Standard keyboard. Firstly, we need to give your snake some power. Included in your box is a USB-A to USB-C power adapter and a wall adapter. Simply plug the USB-A end into the wall adapter and plug the wall adapter into the nearest wall socket. To give your snake power, simply plug the USB-C end into one of the USB-C ports in her tongue. It doesn't matter which side of her tongue you use. If your snake's nostrils light up, she's receiving power. If you can't see them light up, make sure that your wall socket is switched on. Remember to never plug in two power sources into your snake at the same time, as this can damage your snake or your other equipment. Now that your snake is wired up to power, it's now time to wire it to your keyboard. Check the back of your keyboard. If you have MIDI DIN ports, we recommend you use these ports. Select this option in the app and move on. If you don't have MIDI DIN ports, you should have a USB-B port, in which case select this in the app to continue. MIDI DIN Included in your box is a MIDI to USB adapter. Plug the adapter into your keyboard. Note that there is an IN cable and an OUT cable. The IN cable must be inserted into your MIDI OUT port and the OUT cable must be inserted into your MIDI IN port. Also note that you may have more than one MIDI OUT port and that you should plug your IN cable into MIDI OUT port 1. Take the USB-A to USB-C converter and attach it to the adapter. Then plug the converter into the other side of the tongue of your snake. You have now completed the wiring up of your snake. USB Take the USB-B to USB-C cable provided and plug the USB-B end into your keyboard. Make sure that you insert it the right way up as different keyboards may have the flat side at the top or the bottom. Once that is done, plug the USB-C end into the other side of the tongue of your snake. You have now completed the wiring up of your snake. Controller Keyboard If you have a controller keyboard, to start you will first need to make sure it is unplugged from your computer. Then take the provided USB-A to USB-C wire and plug the USB-A end into your computer. Then plug the USB-C end into your snake's tongue. It doesn't matter which side you use. Your snake should now have power, which you will be able to see from the snake's flashing nostrils. If your snake does not have power, make sure that your computer is switched on. Remember to never plug in two power sources into your snake at the same time, as this can damage your snake or your other equipment. Now your snake is wired up to your computer, it's now time to wire it to your keyboard. Take the USB-B to USB-C wire and plug the USB-B end into your controller keyboard and the USB-C end into the other side of your snake's tongue. Make sure that you insert the USB-B wire the right way up, as different keyboards may have the flat side at the top or the bottom. Your computer should now recognize your snake as a new USB MIDI device. 
If you cannot hear your keyboard, please contact us directly in the help section of the app and we will assist you further. Step 2. Bluetooth pairing. With power, your snake should be in Bluetooth pairing mode. You will be able to tell from your snake's left nostril alternating between blue and red. Make sure that your mobile device's Bluetooth is on and as you select Step 2 Bluetooth pairing, your snake will pair, which will be indicated by the snake's nostrils turning solid green along with confirmation of connection within the app. If you're going to share this snake with another person, turn Auto Connect off. If you want to disconnect to allow someone else to connect, you can come back to this menu and click the Disconnect button. If you want to reconnect, you can always come back to this menu in the setup. For further help, please use the Help tab to look for a related article or contact us directly. Step 3. Updating. Now that we're connected via Bluetooth, it's time to check that your snake has the latest firmware update. If it's up to date, it will say so within the app and you can simply move on to step 4, checking. If it's not, you will need to update your snake's firmware. Simply click the update button and allow the snake's firmware to update. The process may take a minute or so and is indicated by flashing purple nostril lights on the snake. Make sure you don't unplug your snake from her power source while this is happening. Once the update is complete, your snake will reboot automatically. If you're experiencing any issues at this stage, please contact us directly in the Help tab of the app. Step 4. Checking. The check should confirm that all the necessary connections have been made, in which case your snake is fully connected and you're ready to move on to Step 5. Positioning. If you want to check that your snake's lights work, you can do so by clicking the Check Lights button. If your piano cannot be identified, make sure that your piano is switched on. If this does not fix it, try replugging in the wires going into your piano and your snake. If you continue to have problems, please feel free to contact us directly through the Help tab. Step 5. Positioning. Now it's time to get the snake sitting in the correct position on your piano. When moving your snake, remember you can only bend your snake backwards. Don't bend her forwards, sideways or twist her. You can bend her head in any direction. We will try positioning the snake both ways to work out which way works best with our equipment, starting with the snake facing left. You may need to adjust the position of the wires to get everything to fit. The flashing light on the snake is showing us where middle C should be. If you don't know how to find middle C, press the Which Piano Key is Middle C button to help you find it. Align the flashing light onto middle C. You will notice that there are bumps on your snake's belly. They come in a repeating pattern of two, then three. That's so that your snake can sit comfortably on the black keys of your piano that also come in a repeating pattern of two, then three. Next, push your snake's body up the keys so she does not interfere with your playing. This will be easy for most of the body, but harder near the head as the head creates a gap. You can bend her neck to move her head out of the way to close the gap. If possible, bend her neck away from you so it's off the keys and push her body to close the gap. Alternatively, you can bend it towards you just as long as you close the gap between the body and the back of the keyboard. Now let's try your snake facing right. It may take a minute to move the wires round. Your snake is now showing you which light middle C should align with when she's facing right. So let's align the flashing light to middle C again. And again, once we've aligned her correctly, the bumps on your snake's belly should fit comfortably over all of the black keys in the pattern of two, then three. And again, adjust the position of your snake's neck so her entire body is placed correctly at the back of your keys. Now that we've tried both directions, it's time to decide which direction worked best which direction works best can depend on a few things. 
One reason is that your snake's head may fit better when facing a particular direction, depending on your equipment. See how with this keyboard, when facing left, the snake's head comes off the end, but when facing right, it sits comfortably. So in this instance, the snake should face right. Another reason may be that it's easier for your wires to reach your snake when facing in a particular direction. See how with this keyboard, with the snake facing right, the wires have to stretch further to reach the snake, which in this case means that it would be better to position the snake facing left. Once you decide which way works best with your equipment, you must select in the app which way you want your snake to face. Once you do this, the snake will show you where middle C should be for that direction, so that you can reposition her, if you need to, and check she's in the right position. Step 6. Testing. Now let's test that your snake is positioned correctly and that it is successfully communicating with your keyboard. On page 1 of testing, press some notes on your keyboard. The correct light above the correct keys will indicate that you've positioned your snake correctly and can move on to the second test. If the lights are mirroring what you're playing, it means you have inputted the wrong direction in the app. You can fix this by going back to step 5 positioning and inputting the correct direction your snake is facing. If the lights are not mirroring what you're playing but they're still wrong, you may have the transpose feature on your piano switched on. For example, you can transpose this E note down to make it sound like a lower D flat. But now your snake thinks that you're playing the transposed note. So if you turn off the transpose function on your keyboard, the light will align. If the lights are showing one octave above or below where you're actually playing, see here the F is being played but the light is being shown above a different F note, then you may have not aligned the flashing light with middle C correctly, in which case you should repeat step 5 positioning. Remember, you can always contact us for support in the help tab of your app if you continue to get stuck. And now for the final step before you're ready to start using your snake. Let's test that your snake can send notes to your piano. Make sure your volume on your piano is on and click play my piano to enjoy the song. If you can hear the song, your setup is complete and you're now ready to start exploring the different play modes.